Hello everyone, my name is Paul Instamayoi, and we're back for Pokemon Y Shiny Hunting, episode 25, Rotom. And if you didn't watch the last episode, why didn't you? And uh, this is, there's no uh, encounters or any of that for this yet, because this is the first episode of the Rotom Shiny Hunt, because it's Tuesday, and every Tuesday we're going to be doing this, so yeah. Sorry, Lapras, we're going to have to take a break off you for today. But the reason I'm on this screen is because apparently, even if you're standing still, the trash bins can shake. And I have a shaking one, and I hope it's still there when I'm off the screen. But, but yeah, hey, it might be a Rotom, and if it is, count it as one of the encounters. Hey, it might be shiny. I highly doubt it, but we'll see. But anyway, today's topic is by me. Have you ever beat the story mode of GTA 5? Oh. <laughs> it was just an escape rope. Oh my god. Okay, we're going to see if it um Hold on. We're going to see if it actually if we stay still and it does move. Because maybe it just was shaking last night and then... I don't know. That's so weird. I didn't think a What the crap? <laughs> that makes no sense at all. Okay, I think we do need to move for it to be triggered. Like, I'll wait... I'll wait four more seconds. One, two, three. Four. Okay, no. All right. Um, but anyway... I have beat the story mode of GTA, GTA 5. I just want to know if you all did or not. But, um, yeah. What a start to the episode, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh, what the heck is this? A freaking escape rope jumped out at us. Okay. That makes no sense at all. <laughs> oh my god. Watch is my luck. I bet we're gonna find like a, like a shiny just by encountering one of these. Like I'm just I'm just moving around so that the, it's just like a shaking patch of grass pretty much. I'm, I think, it uh, yeah. So we just need to, just need to actually, just keep moving until. You know, it shakes again. This is gonna be like a super long hunt though, cause like I said, it's not that not always gonna happen the shaking things. And it's hard alone to it's not guaranteed you get Rotom this way either. It has a high chance, but it's not guaranteed you can get a Trubbish or a Garbodor as well, so Yeah, it's pretty pretty tough. Yeah, I know that today's topic was like really short, but it's just like I just want to know if you ever beat it before. I have, of course, but yeah. Um. Oh yeah, might as well talk about my my uh, battle last night. Well, not last night, yesterday on Pokemon Y online. Um. So I fought off against a new person. I think the name was Rockstar Man or something like that. I forget, uh, I think that's what it is, something with Rockstar in it, but anyway, um, so yeah, I got destroyed by them as well, I forget who, what they, I think I remember what they had, I don't, I'm trying to think, oh yeah, they started off with the Tentacruel, put up the old Toxic Spikes, and if you don't know what those are, um, then that means it's like, if you set up one layer, and you're not a, you're not a steel or a flying type, you'll get poisoned when you when your Pokemon when they switch out. And then if it's two two layers of toxic spikes, they'll get badly poisoned. And badly poisoned is like as long as you're staying out, um, the poison damage is gonna get more, is gonna be more and more each time. So that's like yeah, it's a pretty good strategy. So that's why they had they put out the Tentacruel first. I did my uh you know, my old, my good old Town Flame Tailwind strategy. And I was afraid to switch out because I thought that 
I thought that I was that I was gonna make a big mistake switching out, so I had I wanted to keep the town flame in, so I just kept kept him in, but then he got destroyed by uh I think when when his tentacruel you scald. But anyway, um after he did that he switched out to Tyranitar, Mega Evolved, so Mega Tyranitar. And uh yeah. I don't know. I. Man. I should probably look this up. Yeah, that would be smart after this episode. Because maybe I can use repels and then. You know. I'll see those shaky. shaking things more often. Because maybe. Because I don't know if it negates. if the repel negates those kind of things. So I didn't want to do it just in case, but I should actually look that up. That'd be smart. Well, I'm going to have to wait until after this episode to do that. But I have plenty of money to spend on uh, max repels if I really, really have to. But yeah, so... <laughs> That's hilarious how it started off. Me just finding a shaking one. I was like, oh my gosh, what is it going to be? And then... And then it's a escape rope. Okay, then. <laughs> if it's really going to be like that, then that's going to be annoying because it's going to be even harder to find freaking Rotom if items are going to come out. That's just so dumb. What, was that? I, what are the items possessed or something? Jumping out at me? It makes no sense. It's no sense at all. Yeah, but um, anyway, the rest of the Pokemon that the my Rockstar person had was Chansey, um, I think that's the only ones that I was able to see. Oh, we you know, Skarmory too, yes, yeah, Skarmory. And I think those were the only ones I saw, like, it was a 6 versus 6. But I don't know. I don't remember the other ones he had. But anyway, it was a fun battle either way. He was like, it was really, it was pretty tough. I just got like pretty much sweeped by, who was it? I think it was, I don't even know. I don't even know what Pokemon kept destroying me. It might have been the Tyranitar, I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah, I feel like I'm definitely doing this the wrong way. I think I should be using max repels or just any kind of repel and uh, and just uh, keep doing this so I'm not getting any counter so it will go towards the trash trash bin I I don't know because either way if it if I have to hunt Rotom like this it is really going to take forever to shiny hunt not only one but I want six of them <laughs> just, just a reminder Actually, wait, is it six? I'm pretty sure it is. I think there's five other forms, and then, of course, the normal, so that's six. So, yeah, I don't know. But, hey, maybe I might find a shiny by, uh, by this. <laughs> it would be a mistake shiny, but I'll still try to catch it. And if it's an electrode, the shiny, I'm masterballing it. I'm not playing around with that, because that's going to explode or self-destruct. I know it can learn that. That's a common mistake many people have when they're trying to... They just find a random shiny and it has something like that. They think they can beat the, the timer by uh, trying to catch it before it uses explosion. But don't even risk that crap. If you have something like a Master Ball, just use it. <laughs> just use it on that thing. Otherwise, you'll probably never see it again. But, yeah... Uh, and I made sure, don't worry, I made sure to look up the, the move sets, um, I mean the moves that Rotom can learn by leveling up. He doesn't, it doesn't have any, you know, it doesn't have any, um, moves that hurts itself or any just straight up kill itself moves, <laughs> so that's good. And the shiny Rotom looks pretty, pretty awesome. It's like a, how do I explain it? It's like a blood red, kind of? Yeah, like how it's normally orange. 
but then it ha but when it's shiny, it's like a like a nice blood red or violet. I guess I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but it's just a a cool looking kind of red. Like if you had like a a red popsicle, that's probably what it would look like. <laughs> Kind of a weird comparison, but I guess that'll, that'll do. But, yeah. See, I'm really hoping that, uh, that that repel thing will work, because I'm not going to do it this episode, because I'm just going to do this while I can to see if, see if I, even, I even get an encounter. Because I'm pretty sure, because I remember when I played Pokemon Black 1, White 1, White two, black two. Um, you you can find shaking grass. I don't know if that's for the other games or not. Well, of course this with the shaking grass, but but I'm pretty sure you do have to keep walking, and it's it's like it was easier because you were able to walk on the on the land and didn't need repels because you wouldn't get encounters like out outside of grass if you were just in the normal outside and all that. But yeah. Yeah, this is like the first trash can I saw in the Lost Hotel when you just go down, so I'm just going to stick with this one, so. so yeah. But so far, of course, no luck, so yeah. <laughs> oh, if you want to know how I'm doing on my Pokemon Ruby um, save, I'm doing really good, like I already got all my Pokemon almost. I think all of them right now are level 33, and I'm in, what's that town, it's like, you pass the Ash Fall, you go to the left, I I, I don't know what it's called, it's not called Lava Ridge Town, because that's, that's the next one, but I don't know what this, the, the one I am in is called, I'm not sure, but, yeah, um, if I ever do, <laughs> If, um, if you all ever want me to do an info video on those, like, I could show you my team and all that. Sure, my items are not as impressive items and money as this game, but still pretty impressive. But, yeah. So, hmm. Yeah, I feel like I totally did this first episode wrong. Well, at least I learned the hard way, I guess, because, yeah. So, so, yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'll definitely have to look that up, like the shaking encounters. I guess I can, I'll be like, look up on Google Pokemon why, sh how, how to get shaking encounters, shaking trash bin. <laughs> I'll just see how to get that, how the, what the best way is of uh, having that a cure happen, I mean. So yeah, uh, I'm just trying to think of all the different shinies that I'm finding. I mean like, all the Pokemon encountering their shiny forms. Like with Ponyard is blue, instead of red. Um, I don't know what Clef Keith is. I know Mag Magneton is yellow and who's the other one? Litwick I think is like a it's really hard to tell that shiny anyways I'm gonna save right next to the trash can and we're gonna end off the episode yeah pretty disappointing episode no not even didn't even count a Rotom once I'm gonna hopefully fix that so yeah actually we won't save next to the trash can screw it <laughs> okay, well, anyway, this is a pretty disappointing episode, but I definitely will do research. Research? Research. But anyway, I've been your host, Paul Sabayoli, and goodbye.